All right, so I had a girlfriend call me today asking about training for her puppy that she is getting very, very soon. Uh, you know, and she really wanted to know what do I do to make, how do I just be the best dog mom? How do I be the best dog owner, responsible, that sort of thing. So here are some major points where I gave her a little bit of direction. I highly, highly recommend this to anybody getting a puppy, getting a new dog, but especially puppies. Major things to think about is that your puppy's just a dummy for like 10 months, even longer. And your main goal is to expose them to the world, not to people and dogs, but to the world. It's very important to expose your dog to a lot of things and places and people, but not introduce them to these places. I mean, to these people, to the places, yes, people know. Um, when you have a dog, your main goal is to not raise an asshole. I'm looking at everybody watching this. Your main goal is to have that companion you envisioned in your head. Your main goal is to live peacefully. Like, why do people get dogs and then choose to live chaotically? Like, I don't understand it. All the advice I'm going to give you is how to live peacefully. And, you know, a lot of people... Uh, are going to disagree with what I have to say because it doesn't fit the narrative of, you know, what feels good. It doesn't fit the narrative of what they envision raising a dog looks like. This is going to fit the narrative of raising a dog, not a puppy, first of all, and creating um, a living dynamic in which you can take this dog wherever the hell you want. You can do whatever the hell you want. You know, within reason, every dog has their, like, personalities and traits and, you know, things that they may or may not do not great with. You should be number one to your dog. You should be the bee's needs. You should be so cool, so amazing. Nobody else should be able to steal your dog's attention from you. If you create a dog that thinks you're the coolest thing ever, then you're going to be able to go to the farmer's market, to a brewery, go hiking, take your dog rock climbing, take your dog off leash places, answer your door without them going psycho. Like there's so many things that happen when your dog thinks that you're the shit. You're the shit and it's amazing.